Hello everybody, welcome back to MCPE Redstone and on your guys requests we are starting a MCPE basic redstone series. Okay guys, welcome back. I hope you're all having a fantastic day. Uh, today this is the start of a series uh, in this series we're going to step by step going over the simple redstone and all the way to some more complicated redstone. If you follow this series you will be able to make your own redstone creations without having to watch a tutorial all the time. So uh, yeah, I hope you guys will enjoy the series. We're going to start off with some really, really, really basic things for the people that are totally new to this, uh, to this thing. But if you keep up with all the videos you will become a redstone pro over time. So the first thing that we have here is, of course, if you haven't noticed yet, it is redstone. Uh, if you want to know how you can get redstone, it's really, really simple. You have to go to the uh, to 16 uh, blocks above the bedrock or lower, and then you can find this ore. If you mine it, you'll get redstone dust. This redstone dust can be placed on the floor, like so. And if we do that, you can make a redstone line, as you can see, and that can be used to make a signal. Now, if we move on, you can power redstone. Redstone can be powered in many different ways. As you can see, I totally just broke that, but uh, there's pressure plates. There is more pressure plates, which I just broke, but of course it works. There's another pressure plate that's really uh, soft because this one is a, uh, is a weight pressure plate, so a person isn't gonna make a lot of weight. You put blocks on here in survival. The more you put on there, the harder it's going to be uh, detected. The same with this thing, uh, it's not going to be working with uh, normal players. Now we have buttons that we can press and it's going to give a really short redstone pulse. Same with the stone button. And we have a lever which you can put on and off. A redstone torch which will always power uh, unless you turn the torch off which we will teach you later. A chest, but not just an ordinary chest. If you look at your inventory there is a chest and a trap chest. If you press a ch uh, trap chest and you open it in survival, uh, I can't open it right now as you can see, but if you would open it, it would be pu pu uh, turning a pulse, which you could use to make like a TNT trap when someone opens a certain thing. Uh, then we have the um, day-night sensor, which is going to detect if there is sun or not, and it's going to, uh, according to that, is going to give you the appropriate uh, amount of red pulses, which we will go into in a later episode as well. Then we have another thing, which is the uh, the tripwire, which you can go over, and it's going to be uh, dispensing the redstone signal. And the last one that we have here is the minecart on a certain rail, which is the powered rail, I think. And if you put it on there, or the de detector rail rather, you will get a redstone pulse, nice and easy. Now, what can you do with redstone pulses? You can put them into output blocks. As you can see, you can turn off and on a light. Really, really nice and simple. You can also put the door here or TNT, things like that, to uh, blow up or open doors and such. Redstone signals can go up blocks. However, they cannot go up more than one block. As I will show you, uh, you can make redstone go up, but not more than one. See, this doesn't work. You cannot make it connect this way, but it can go up one block nice and easy and it works perfectly fine. As you can see, it goes all the way to the top. Next thing, uh, a redstone signal actually has to go directly into a block. So, as you can see, this uh, little glowstone is going to be powered because you tell the redstone to go right into it. But if it's just going past it, it's not going to power it, as you can see. Nice and easy to know that. Uh, really, really important in some builds. Uh, more on that in more later episodes. Then another thing is uh, there's a certain amount of blocks that redstone can travel, as you can see. Uh, and if we go look, take a look at it, it's going to be really, really bright. And then slowly it's going to be turning less and less bright, which isn't as visible in the n at night time. Uh, but at the end here, it's going to be powered off. So. Uh, I think it's 15 blocks and then there's no more power. So as you can see, this is the last spot where it's going to be powered. And then here it's going to be turned off. And that's about it for this episode. Uh, I hope you are excited. I hope you learned some things. This was the really, really, the real basics. Um, some really, really simple stuff. So if you're excited for the next episode, 
uh, we are going to be covering a lot more stuff and uh, in like a couple episodes we're gonna slowly start getting into some really cool builds so I hope you all have a great day if you did make sure to leave a like let's go for 80 likes subscribe if you are new to the channel and leave a comment telling me what you want to see in the next video I take mo I make most of my videos based on suggestions in the comments so I hope you have a great day and we'll see you all later goodbye